One of the hardest things to do with kingdoms and castles is to get a good starting location. In this video, we're going to show you how to choose a good starting location and really get off and get your game going. So we're just going to go and pick easy mode just because that's all we need to do to kind of show this concept. And pick a small island uh, with a land and no rivers. And we'll just keep cycling through here and talk about what makes a good location and why some of these won't work or will work for you. Okay, so there are three things you need to get started. The first is you need access to stone, which is the white, white squares, and you need trees, and you need fertile land to build your farms. So you need these all really close together, I would say in a, just a couple squares. And ideally, the trees are going to be in an area that you can cut down when you build your settlement. So as you build the manor houses and other buildings, you'll be chopping those trees down. So in this particular scenario here, we have a stone there and we've got some fertile land there and there's a little bit of distance between them. Um, we, we could do this, this, this might work. We could, we could do that, but they're a little bit too far apart for my tastes. And if you look over here, well, this is not good. We've got too many black rocks on that fertile land. So let's try another map. Okay, this one. This one we have... We don't really have... The stones are not near the fertile land at all. This is no good. Okay, here, again, we have a, a stone here near fertile land and trees. This could work. We could put our our castle right here and then kind of build our settlement out. Not perfect, though. Let's keep going. Okay, here's a really good one. So here we have all of them together, the stone, the fertile land, and the trees. And so what we're going to do is put our castle about right here and then build over to our fertile land. Well, actually, we could... Yeah, we want to we want to build diagonally down to our fertile land and then chop these trees down to get the wood for our settlements which are going to go in this area. The only thing I'm worried about though is this little rock right here is going to kind of mess up our layout. So I have a very particular layout I want to use which is seven squares wide. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think it'll work. We might have to chop off the right side of this fertile land to do it. But this should work okay. So let's get started, and we'll start up. We'll start by putting our um, putting our our settlement up here. So um, actually, I don't want to use this one. I'll see if we can if we can get our castle and get our. Let's just try this. Okay, so we'll accept it. Let's see if this works. Okay, if we put, can put our settlements in here, let's go and go like that. Okay, it will let us do that. Good. And then we can, now we pause it immediately, and I'll show you why. Because we want to get the first two town, the first two hovels built before our wave of first settlers come in. So to, we can't put a hovel down immediately. So we want to get one road square, and then we'll just get two hovels like that. And we'll then play this and see, and then we, we want to chop some more wood down after that so we give the chop instruction to chop the wood down and we'll just play this at high speed and see how it goes so hopefully they can build these two hovels before our first settlers come in if not we're going to start over because i really want to get that first wave in so we get one one we got to build the second one okay good Let's pause it so that's what we want so now we're out of wood we have one wood basically and we're going to chop down some more wood here. Okay, as soon as we get up to five, we're going to start build another hovel. And we're going to get an, a wave of settlers any second here. There we go. So that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure we had those two built. We got three more people. So now we have eight instead of only having five, which is a big deal at the beginning. And we're getting wood as we go here too. Let's just tell it to chop all this area down.
just putting down hovels and making sure that we can um, so what we're going to do is have a pattern where we have a row of we're going to have manners eventually but it's going to be manner 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 down this way and then we're going to have a center area we're going to put we're going to put bonus buildings another row of manners here so two squares and then a road right there this is all going to be connected to our stone I'm going to pause it kind of lay this out a little bit and we we have this black square so we can't be hitting that so we want to go to we want to go down that way on the right on the left side of our little city so our city is going to basically go seven across and then it's going to expand 14 or so down this to down to this direction so all these trees right here are getting are getting chopped down basically all this is getting chopped down okay so we'll keep going we're going to have a lot of wood here in a second. This is why this is the benefit of starting out in this situation. Now, I want to get a farm built as soon as we can. It's going to be it's there's going to be a road on this line. The farms are going to be over here. And if we look at it right now, we already have access to wheat and bread because the castle had that starting out, but it has no fruit. Zero. So we want to plant orchards first. Okay, good. So we've cleared this out. So now we're going to plant orchards. We need a road to do that. Let's lay our roads out. So we have our, our settlements are going to go here, eventually manors. And this is going to be a road. I know it's fertile ground, but we, we needed to avoid this black rock. So we had that kind of set our left side. We wanted to go down here. And um, we're going to build our orchards right along there. Now, keep in mind, this quarry here, eventually you're going to want to put a large quarry around it. So you don't want to build anything in the nine and the three by three square around that. So you got to keep that clear. And we definitely also want to get access to these quarry squares, which one is there. We'll get rid of all that. We'll get rid of all this as well. So this is going to be our quarry. And we'll put our foresters over on this side. That's going to be another thing we're going to do. So, but right now, all we really care about is getting our food going. And so I'll put a orchard there and another orchard here. And focus on building that. We've got, or we've got 10 extra beds, which is good. Tons of wood. I mean, just almost too much, really. Um, and what we want to do is build a hovel while we're at it and start our quarry. We need to get a road going up there. Just get a road there for now. And get our quarry going. another quarry here as soon as we can. We can actually get a quarry there. That's even better. And then we want to get a, we want to get a, a couple farms. I think five farms is what so you want to try to get. We have 18 people. Two quarries. And as soon as we get enough food reserved, we're going to switch this to stone production. We're attracting residents like crazy. We're not missing any waves at all. This is really good. This is what you want. We have nine extra beds right now. You gotta keep an eye on your beds, make sure it's above your immigration. And I'm playing at three, you know, triple speed, so uh this is uh not a bad thing here to do. Help those guys get to stone where they want. And uh also get a stockpile so they can kind of and kind of stockpile it there. Now our, our our fruits are not going up yet because we haven't harvested any any um, anything, and I want to I don't want to miss my population bump, so I definitely want to keep it out of those beds. Our job priority: we're prioritizing our builders, then our farmers, then our orchards. I'm gonna put my orchards first because I really need them. I don't care about my my stockpile workers are going to be at the bottom. Let's get that up like that. 
Okay, we're we're starting to get um some some stone here, and I have 35 beds and 24, so that I want to be able to build a cottage. Um, I'm gonna get this well done though first. Let's see. We've got um, now. I'm actually gonna save my. I'm gonna save my stone for my first cottage. I want to get that cottage down. It's, it's going to give me better taxes. The hobbles don't give me any tax revenue. So we're almost out of stored food. This is the stored food in the castle, but we do have stored foods in these houses. So uh, if you click on the houses, you can see they have stored food in there. So that's what that's referring to is storage in the castle and storage in your, in your storage units. But we do have food. And here we've already at 50% fruit, see? So this is good. Okay, we have 23 stone. We can build a cottage now. We'll put the cottage right there. And we can also build a well. So the well is going to go down. We're going to have four, four rows. And then we're going to have a center, we have a center cross section here, cross section of a T. So the well is going to go right in the middle, right there. Um, and then at this point, we really just need to accumulate our stone so we can build we can keep our our housing above but we want to really build a um, treasury so we could get taxes so we're trying to get 40 stone to build our taxes here and I'll throw down in our hovel just in case so we have we don't run out of housing so everybody's working pretty hard here this is good and we're going to keep our eye on the beds are okay. Stone's good. And we want to think about our, our charcoal and running out of wood and that type of thing. We've got so much wood right now, we probably could start making charcoal out of it. We're going to build foresters over here. Let's cut, cut a line into that forest there. We want our charcoal guy to be at... Not here, not that close to houses, but one more over. That's why I built that line, so the charcoal guy can go in here. Let's build a line next to him to get our forester next to him. Okay, we're almost at 40 stone. Okay, I hit it right there. Okay, there we are. We have it. So this will let us build a treasure room. The treasure room is important because we need to build a chapel. Uh, that's going to... That's, it's going to ask us to build that. So um, let's build the chapel right, let's build the treasure room right here. And we also forgot, we also need to build a tavern. Um, the tavern is going to go down at the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four. We have a row of that. We have four more. One, two, three, four. And then this row is going to be our taverns. We have two taverns, and then this is the ending, the closing one. So the tavern's going to go there. So as soon as we get 15 stone, we're going to build a tavern, and we're going to keep an eye on the construction of our, of our uh, treasure room because the tavern's going to be, uh, be more important. Right now, we're gonna. It's, it's gonna probably complain if we don't have one very shortly here. In fact, let's see. Hasn't complained yet, but it will soon. Okay, we need 15. Okay, there. There's our tavern. Make sure we get this right. So, one, two, three, four. Free a free line for bonus buildings. One, two, three, four, and the tavern goes there. This will make sense in a second. Okay, our treasury is built, so now we can raise our taxes up to get our chapel done. Uh, keep in mind our houses, we have vacancies, which is what we want. So let's get our tax rate up to 20%, and we have tax collectors now. We're going to stick those guys above our quarry workers, because we really want the money. I'm actually going to raise it to 30%. Actually, I'm going to raise it to 40% to get this money up to 10 as fast as possible. One, as soon as it gets to 10, I'm going to put it back down again. Let's 
Because I really don't want to be building cottages and hovels. I want to get to manors as fast as possible here. Okay, we've already got... We've, pausing it, we've got this area cleared out. Let's have some guys build some charcoals. Oh, they can build a forester unit. And then they can build a road to it. And the... And the charcoal guy is going to go right there as soon as we get a little bit of materials to do it. There. He's going to go there. Charcoal will help our happiness. Okay, we're up to six. I don't like being at 49, but I want to get to 10. And let's build another charcoal guy. So there has to be four down. One, two, three, four. Okay, the charcoal can go right here. So one, two, three, four, another one. Road going to that. And um, I'll build a stockpile over here too, just to hold the charcoal. Okay, we're at 10. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this tax rate down to zero. And then we're going to take the tax collectors off completely. Move our charcoal makers up because that's what we're lacking right now. Uh, our timber workers can be above stockpile. Keep our quarry going. We need the quarry going. Um, this is kind of the order of importance right now. See, our food is, is okay. Um, we're building these things. We're going to build a chapel now. So it's an it's an advanced town and it's it's right there and we need 50 stones. So we need to make sure our quarry is up right there. This this will reorder it. So now we've got yeah, so this is okay. We don't need the farms. We've got enough food right now. Okay, that's the preference. And so the chapel needs 50 stone. That 50 stone is going to go up. And this should be going up to 70 because we have we have no, you know, we're, we're trying to get our happiness up. That allows us to raise taxes more. So we're still getting it. We haven't missed any waves yet. This is the key. You don't want to miss people coming into your town. Um, this chapel will help us with that. 5241, I'm keeping an eye on the beds. The charcoal will definitely help us as well. I have two charcoal makers making charcoal, and so that helps with happiness. Our fruits went up, see? Now we have 100% 100, 100 fruit. Uh, we could catch some fish over here to make them healthy. Might think about that in a minute. This is great. We have a fish area right here. The fish are swimming. You need to see the fish swimming to get the fish benefit. Okay, I'm just waiting here to get to 50 stone. And hopefully get that chapel down. I'm going to have to put down another cottage though because I don't want to run out of... Uh, housing. So put that cottage down. Unfortunately, we have to put that down. If you can, you want to put a cottage down instead of hovels, but that's not ideal because we're actually going to end up deleting all of these at some point because we're going to want manners. So everybody's working. Charcoal's kind of fluctuating around one and two, so it's getting used. It's definitely in the houses. Um, not all the... They don't have full charcoal, but they're sort of getting it. Okay, we're getting to 50 now. Okay, we've got 50, so we can put a chapel down. Chapel's going to go right here in the middle, like that. And that should really help us ha with happiness issues. I've kind of been tweaking this plan for a while, this starting plan, this layout, um, and it works It works pretty well. It's a 200 minimum small town, easy on this tiny island. It's a great way for you to get started as a beginner and kind of understand how to balance the resources and things. Okay, so 
We're now going to 75. Um, let's think about getting our taxes going again. We do need money to buy other things. So let's get our tax up to 20%. It's going to go down to 66. Our chapel is going to be done very soon. So the tax collector should be going. Yeah, I definitely want to keep that down below. Okay, it's going to 70. 72 because we have a church now. 71. Okay, let's build another manor, a little cottage. I'm actually going to build, I'm at 53, 52, 52 people. Um, I want to get a clinic uh, because if we have any diseases, it's going to be really important to fix those. It could be a catastrophe if if, if we have any diseases. Um, so let's see, I've got 10 extra houses here. Let's get this chopped down. We're going to build a forester in this area here. And we'll probably want to start storing some produce. We'll store our produce there. And we want to store our grain as well to keep an eye on the quantities of it. So put down a granary and a So that's the uh, that's the overall layout of our town there, and put a forester in this location here. One, two, three, four. He's still working on clearing those trees out. And our food. Everybody's being everybody's being taken care of by food here. Uh, Okay, we want to, five people visited, three, we're, we're doing okay and all that. Um, thinking about getting a fishing hut, a fishing hut or a clinic, one of the two. I'm probably going to go with the clinic first. We could also do a baker. A baker would actually help us with our happiness. This is the building I'm putting right here. The baker helps with our happiness and some of our food issues. And he consumes charcoal, so we need to be aware of that. So we're going to have to start thinking about... So he's going to go there. Put another charcoal maker there. So our timber workers, we're going to have more timber workers here in a second. So they're going along. Uh, we can monitor the storage in these two things to make sure we have enough food. Because right now we were just throwing all the food into the houses, but now we'll be able to put put food into the um, into the into the storage units if we have extra food. So I'm going to show you this is really good. You know, six people visited but five found. Seven people but six found. This is what you want to be seeing. Like really everybody's coming in as they come in. This is because it's all about this happiness quotient. The happiness quotient is a balance of your taxes, your health, and everything else. If you see these health go down or you see the happiness go down, you need to adjust your taxes accordingly. Ideally you want to keep it you want to keep it above 70. You really do. Um, so that's going to be 71 at a 21 percent tax rate. So that baker he just got made, he doesn't have um, it's not fully staffed. There's no there's no things to make it. So you, the baker's got it. You have to put the baker guys 
the clergy from the I got lucky the clergy and the bartenders are up here the uh, the bakers have to be up here so all these guys have to get staff see to get the happiness potions bartenders from the from the end bakers and clergy marketers can be down here granary stockpile of marketers kind of in this order I would say like this okay and our happiness is now up at 73. So now we're actually getting in some decent money. But we're out of housing. I didn't know I got I didn't pay attention. So we've got to get a house built real fast to take care of that. Hopefully we don't miss anybody. Oh, eight people, but none could find a home. See, that's what happens. It's a good example. Okay to make mistakes like that to show that. We're actually have to build another one just to just to get tied by. Meanwhile, our next thing we're going to do is build a manor. I'm going to get to 25 right here. Okay, so now we can build a manor. So we'll build two manors, one there, one there. We have for four of them. One, two, three, four. And then as we build these, we're going to delete the other ones. Now, here's where we get in a danger zone. We have not built the clinic. We could really get wiped out by a, by a disease or something. Um, so we've got to focus on that. So our clinic is 10 gold. As soon as we get to 10 gold, we're going to build that. Hopefully get lucky and don't have a problem with it. Okay, it said we're full. That's not true, though. We do have two houses, so I don't know. Oh, that was the last one, right? Yeah, that was the same one. We didn't miss anything. Okay. Seven new residents there. We're almost full again. Okay, let's get that clinic. Clinic is right here. Boom. And uh, as soon as we get to a uh, good, now we've got tons of space. See, 99? That holds 25 people. See? So, and in fact, what we can do is destroy, we can destroy, let's destroy one of those to get people moving into it. I clicked on the person. There, that'll move the people into here. Let's do that for two of them. It gets our taxes higher. He's trying to get charcoal. That's what the X means there. So the dragon comes, and the first time the dragon comes, he just kind of flies over. You can see him on the map. He's up there. He's flying towards us. Here he comes. He's not going to do anything. He's just kind of kind of hover around and fly right by, especially on easy mode. Even on, an, even on hard mode, the first time he comes, he just kind of flies by and does nothing. And the only defense you have is this castle, which doesn't really do much of anything. But it's okay. So uh, we're at 74. And we're going to build another. Let's see. Are these guys storing anything? No storage, really. Okay, that one's... We, we're storing a lot of our fruits but we don't have enough grains we got to build more farm land then so that's what that means so let's just build three of them and see four of them and see how that goes we want to make sure we have extra storage of food in these two guys this is for wheat and this is for fruit or else that could start suffering because remember our bakery is using these things now see it's baking see it's only has it doesn't have enough wheat it needs more wheat to work but it's making happiness. That's part of the reason why we're able to do our taxes like this. Eight people, seven found a home. Good. Save this right here. Just make sure we've got it saved. Okay, so that's going. Okay, we have 20. We have 20 yet. We can build another manor. Let's build our manor. 89. We're going to run in a room again. I should have deleted that other one. <clears throat> Just throw a hovel down if you get kind of too close to the number of people. So uh, you don't want to miss people coming into your town. So you can see that hovel getting built. There it's good. Now we've got enough beds to, to take care of a, a wave. Plenty of stone, plenty of wood. Uh, probably everyone's working. There's nobody idle. Let's look at our jobs. Okay, just to review it. 
everything, the happiness stuff is all being used. Our doctors from our clinic, we definitely want those occupied or else we've got a lot of extra people. We don't need anyone. We have we don't need anyone on these jobs. It's seven people that could be doing something else. So let's see what they could do. They have iron. We don't need iron yet. Uh, we do have another quarry down here. It would be good to get more stone. Um, we've got two stone coming off of that. Uh, actually, the fish, the fish would be what we want. That gets us our fish pork. So we'll go build a fishing hut um, over there. And let's make it easy to get to there, a little road to get to that location to help them out. Okay, so that's kind of a good use of those other people. That's going to take up our seven people, actually. Okay, we're at 73, trending towards... That's because that's of our... Now, we can also uh, start thinking about some other advanced buildings we're going to put down here. We're going to put down a library, which we really want to put down. That's going to get a huge amount of happiness if we can manage it. But we're not quite there yet. Eight people, seven visited. Great, great. Okay, our wood's going down a little bit. We need to build another forester. Um, let's chop down some tree right here to put him there. Also, keep an eye on our stockpiles. They're not full. That's good. How's our food storage? I'm still not storing any of that. Okay, we kind of need to get more um, more farms. So a little worried about our farms there. How's our orchard doing? Orchards, it's fine. It's not, it's not going down. It's 86 out of out of uh, 125. Okay, we can build another forester here. We need three foresters, so. That's where the forester goes. Build a little road for him to get to where he's going to. Okay, we got to think about getting more stone here in a minute. Um, as soon as I've got some extra guys, I'll probably start building a road down there to him. You know, we're starting to get some stockpile workers and things. So this tavern takes up to 150 people. So um, we're not there yet. So when we get to about 130, we need to build a second tavern right there. Uh, we're at 75% happiness. And I'm going to try to build a uh, another manor as soon as we can. I want to stay ahead of our housing this time and not get caught flat-footed. There we go. Another manor. Okay, our wood should be not going down now as much. We have a lot of charcoal. This is good. I'm going to need more stone. I'm going to go down to this and build another road going over to that and just throw down the quarry. One quarry. We'll do another one in a minute. Okay, so this is going pretty well. Let's pause it. We have... We have plenty of beds, 98 people. We have our clinic. Um, if anyone dies, we really need to have a graveyard. So that's kind of, um, it's not something that you ideally want to make, but, but you kind of need to think about that. So we'll just put this guy right here. And that's kind of all we need to do just to handle that problem. Because if, if dead body, if somebody drowns or somebody you know, falls in a whatever, um, the dead body rots and it causes disease and plague. So this kind of is a protection here. 
Okay, we got 100 people now. We have three idle. That's okay. They're going to go to the graveyard guy as soon as that gets finished. Might as well build another quarry while we're at it. That's, we got a quarry getting built. Let's see. What, what are the idle doing? Fishing, quarry, granary. Yep. We'll build another quarry. And build a stockpile down here for them to put their stone in. Okay, and we'll get a... Um, so we, this is good. So right now, we're way ahead on beds from where we need to be. Um, I really want to get a library put in there, but I need to get 75 gold to do that. I'm not... I'm fearful I won't get... The, um, I won't get the, the head, headway I need, head start I need to do that. So I'm going to put another manor down to really get enough. Uh, this little symbol means we can't afford it. It means there's not enough gold. That's going to fix itself, though, really quickly here. So that'll be okay. And we're growing pretty fast. Okay, this guy, we don't have the fishing people. We need to make sure the fishing is higher. There's something... Yeah, fishing is up, up there. So that fixed our fishing. We need full people on that. There we go. Okay. So that'll get our fishing boat out, and and, and they're gonna. You see, they're running down there. Here he goes. Yeah, it's raining. They can't go out in the storm. That's what's going on. As soon as our storm goes away, that boat will be active because it needs five people to run the boat, catch fish, and that'll help our that'll help this fish pork requirement here too. Okay, so now we have this other manor built. We're way ahead on houses. Um, I'm just going to get that second tavern built just so we've got it done. We don't have to worry about it later. You can, if you forget that, it's going to hit you with a negative, negative bonus pretty quick. And 75 gold is a lot of gold to get to, to get a... Um, to get the, uh, the 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 library, so um, what what we might do ahead of that is to is to try to figure out you know, this chamber of war is needed to shoot down um, the dragons later to get this ballistas, but we need to think about this archer tower and castle block combination to fight the Vikings when they come in. So that's kind of happening sooner than later. Um, so, okay, they didn't, they didn't like our kingdom. It's probably our happiness is, yeah, see, it's, it's 70. That's okay, though. Um, let's get, yeah, I need a chamber war to build that as well. Let's get our chamber of war built. We need 50 gold for that. I'm going to build a chamber of war down here. I don't need a room around my castle up there, so... Get our chamber of war built. Because our chamber of war gives us ballistas for the dragons and other things. Okay, we're almost there. I'm actually going to hold off on that. I'm going to put the library down. On, on hard mode, I would put the chamber of war down and I'd focus on building the defenses. But on this easy mode, I think I would just go all the way up and try to get the library started because the library is going to give you 12 additional happiness. Um, and I've got such a head start on these beds that, that I really can afford to do it. Um, and now that I've got a little bit of fish coming in, um, I'm, I'm really getting good on my health. So um, so there's that. Okay, so let's, get, let's, let's go all the way up to 75 and get, our, uh, and get that taken care of. Because that's going to really be a big benefit. So, huge benefit. 12 happiness eventually after 12 turns. All right, one more. There we go. So now we can put this library down. The library goes right there. Uh, you can either put it here or here. Um, I'm going to put it here because... Uh, no, I'm going to put it here. It's fun. It doesn't really matter. It's going to affect all the buildings. So there's the library. And then we're back down to two gold. It used all our gold up. 
But that library is going to really, really help our happiness a lot. Okay, I'm a little worried about the Vikings. I'm going to start putting down a tower here to help out. We have so much stone, we might as well do it. So, four high. Um, and I'm going to put an archer tower on top of it as soon as we get 20 gold. This is why we got our manors way ahead of where we needed to be for housing. I'm going to build another archer tower kind of opposite it over here. So uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And put an archer tower on top of that. Put another one on top of this other side. So we need 20 gold to do it. So we have two archer towers that are going to be built soon here to protect against a Viking invasion, which should be incoming. If the Vikings, it's not that the Vikings destroy stuff, it's that the Vikings really hurt our happiness. And it just takes a long time to recover from it. So that's, that's really the problem with the Vikings there. So if you check in our library right now, our library's already got one knowledge. See, one out of 12 stored. And um, that's good. That's what we want. Um... We've got four guys idle. What can we have them do? Okay, we have, uh, let's see, check out our food. We have, okay, we're storing food there. We're storing food there. We're good on that. So the food looks okay. Um, let's see. We can, we're building that. We don't really have anything for them to do right now. Um, We can have them build a stockpile, might as well. Actually, a large charcoal maker would be good. Let's just throw another stockpile down just for, just to have it. So we have two quarries there. We have two quarries. This is why this is a really good map here, everything. And in this demo, I'm not even going to bother going to the iron or building a blacksmith, really. We don't really need to. Um, okay, I need to actually destroy... ...this building in order to build another manor there, so... So we're going to have to build a manor as soon as we get up to... Uh, 25 gold, and you can see the effect of our library is already helping us to happiness now. And uh, these towers are complete. Let's go look. Let's go look at the archers. Archers are there. We have four, we have two archers. This is the librarians. You want the librarians for the library always, always busy. Um, also, these archer towers can be higher. So we want to um, put uh, four more stone on either side of them. And uh, we're going to put ballistas on those. And we need to get our... Chamber of War built for the Ballisters, or else the dragon's going to have a hard time with us. It's gonna, well, we're going to have a hard time with the dragon. Let's check our food. Zero. We need to build more farms. Um, so, in order to build a farm, we need to build a road, because it won't reach. So just stick a road down here. That lets us build farms. And then we could um, just throw some farms down. Just put a bunch down there. Check our fruit. Our fruit's doing fine too. Let's 
77% happiness this is great. Um, show you one other little trick we can do real quick. We're going to throw down a... Um, see, are these buildings, they're all lived in, yeah. We're going to throw down a uh, statue. You can throw down this obelisk. It's 20 gold and 30 stone. And you don't want to put it right there. You can pick any statue you want, but the obelisk is the cheapest one. So you put it right there. And it's going to add three happiness just by itself, doing nothing else. So we'll, that's why this layout's really nice and compact, because it, it helps out a lot with all the um, with all the happiness. We can keep working on this height of these things. Put two, raise those up two more. That's kind of where our stone's going to right now. That little sound, that doo doo, that was the obelisk getting built. And now look at our happiness. Now it's going up to 81. See, we're now really getting it high. In fact, we can even raise our tax up to 40. So now we've got higher taxes. See, look at that. Um, we have 35, and we can destroy. This, this, and build another manor there. We're just skirting the population here. So this is pretty much almost a perfect game so far. I've only missed one immigration wave, and uh, it's just been a very minor one, really. Okay, now our taxes are going flying up, and we can really afford that, that chamber of war pretty soon here. I don't want to put it near my castle, so I need to chop some of these trees down, though, to do it. Let's see how our food's doing. Okay, good. We've got some food in there. Always want to have food reserves. You know, you don't need to build the bigger storage units if you keep if you go play it close to the limits like I'm doing here. That's what you need. As long as there's food in there, it's, it's all being used. Tons of wood, tons of charcoal. These things are almost full. I mean, I might as well just build a large storage stockpile. There, just to really store extra stuff. Actually, I don't want to put it there because I want more room for my, my cemetery. So let's, uh, let's put it a little over here. Okay, we have enough time for a chamber of war, and we've cleared off some trees, so let's do that. So there's our chamber of war. All right, so 76, 40% tax rate, 33 gold. Plenty of housing. Let's just knock out some of these other hovels and put um, put something good there. So we'll go ding, 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 and put a manor there. Hopefully we're going to... I don't really even care if, it, if we miss a, a wave at this point because we're, we're just showing you the concept. But this is... Um, yeah, nobody could stay because we don't have enough housing. But this is... They have one more left to build. Um, and then the next, the other thing we're going to do is, watch this, we can put a moat right here. And this moat goes right there. We're going to put a garden there and garden there. We're going to put a moat here. And that's going to give a, um, oh yeah, we got a little fire there. Probably want to put a couple wells out around real quick, just to make sure we've, we don't have any enough wells here to covering what we're doing. Put a well there, put a well there, put a well there, put a well here, put a well down here, just to make sure we're really covering things. 
nine people idle, might as well do it. Um, so there's our there's our moat. Watch what this does. The moat gives this open water plus five to all houses that it's touching. So that one moat is touching these two, and it's diagonal to these two. So it's giving plus five to everybody. That's a plus five. That's amazing. And, we, and it only costs gold. And we can put another moat down here on the same side, same way. And there's the moat, and we're going to put down... Um, we're going to put down a garden. We don't, have, we don't have the gold for it yet. We're going to put garden there. I'll put another garden here. We'll get the garden bonus. So we'll be able to raise our taxes up to even higher. Okay, our chamber of wars built. So the Chamber of War gives you the ability to train people, so military training. So we want to make sure that's up here, and it's also going to give us the ability to make the list of workers. So that's what we're going to start using these idle guys for. So, okay, ballista. We don't have enough gold for it yet. Let's raise these up. Let's put two there. Two there. And if I was playing on hard mode, we would have already gotten uh, attacked by dragons and things. So I would have done a li this a little earlier and wouldn't have done um, perhaps some of the uh, focusing as so much on the housing as I was. So I'll put a ballista tower on that one. See the range of the ballista? And if you have two of them intersecting, it's going to take out everything. So that's the idea, and the height of this could be not could be up to ten. So these things can go ten high. Um, it's plenty high for our, our little city here, but we can go even higher. And might as well because we have the stone. Let's just keep going up. So one, two, one, two, and just one, two, one, two. So that's going to make those towers higher, like that. We're going to get a Viking attack soon here. I'm not sure when. Okay, we're out of charcoal. Didn't didn't catch that. Um, so we need to um, build a large charcoal maker. Now the charcoal cannot be here or here. That's two squares from houses. It has to be at least three. So one, two, three. So let's build our large charcoal maker down right here in this area, and see that. That idleness took away our ballista workers. We want to make sure that they're up in the priority or else they won't fire. So the ballistas, oh, they're not built yet. So as soon as our ballista workers get created, you'll see these show up. They'll also take out the wolves. See those wolves right there? The ballistas will take those out once they get a certain range. Archers might do it too. Oh, they're, they see they're doing it. they're doing it now. See, they're firing at the wolves. Now they have range to hit them. Killing them. That's an added benefit as your towers get taller. Let's make sure our ballista guys, though, are up in this priority. I don't see them. There they are. Up the, They're already got put up there somehow. Okay, so here's us clearing for our charcoal. And that's going to really basically allow us to turn all the other ones off and make tons of charcoal, too, with all that wood we made. So we only had, we only had three foresters. That's kind of all we needed for this. It, was, it worked great. Um, and we'll make our other gardens. So garden, garden, and garden. And we're full on housing. Um, we wanted to... Uh, want to actually destroy that and put a manor, but that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna build some temporary housing over here that they're gonna go live in while we while we build that last manor house. Because they'll be unhappy if I don't have housing for them, see. Alright, and once we finish that we'll pretty much be done this tutorial really. Um but I'll show you how, how easy this was. You know we've we've got Plenty of food there going into units. So we have, we have only two orchards. This is all in very fertile land. It's not even irrigated. 
We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 farms. So that's how many farms we needed, and I probably could have gotten by with less if I had a windmill. So uh, that's okay. So we've got those four things built, and let's destroy those. And uh-oh, we had too many people. Now they're not going to like it. So... Um, didn't really want to get 208. So we'll have um, that. That'll get built. And that's about it. So let's see. They're going to keep coming. Now they're unhappy because we don't have enough. Oh, uh, they're complaining we need pork. Okay. Um, they're also complaining because we have too many people above above 200, which is not... A, I shouldn't have built this extra housing here, honestly. That was a mistake. I should not have built the extra housing. Another thing we can do is build the... Uh, make these roads stone. I mean, we have the gold to do it. We have 160 gold just sitting there doing nothing now. This will speed everybody up. Make all of our roads stone roads. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, and slowly start reducing these houses down. So there's going to be five homeless people, but that's okay. They're just going to have to live with it. And I want to get it down to 200. I don't want any more people here, really. Because our clinic can only support 200 people. Back. I'm just going to delete those. And I'm going to go into creative mode and kill these guys. So I'm going to pause it. I'll show you how to do this. Do creative mode. And you can just go like that. And then you can click on them. And, uh, yeah, that took care of a lot of them right there. Kill that guy right there. Bam, now I'm at two of five people. I'm gonna kill him. Two of four. Just waiting for somebody to cross this little threshold of death here. Okay, there we go. We've got them all. So we can get out of creative mode. Control C. So that was a cheat to kill people. That's all that was. Didn't really use it for anything other than that. Make a little nice stone road to our fishing port. Make a nice stone road to our quarries. And uh, he's smiling. He's happy. He's got a home. Yeah, so that's basically it. That's the tutorial. Um, we have now, we now have our 200 person town. We have 50% taxes. Yeah, so here we are. We have a 200 people. Um, oh, the dragon's coming. We have 200 people and it's a 76, 74 percent happiness at a 50 percent tax rate, which is great. Um, and so, yeah, see how that knocks that dragon out. He's gone. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, and thank you. Please, please subscribe and appreciate it.